Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today I'm out with the G. Loomis NRX 10-foot 4-weight urine nymphing rod. Now, in a previous video, I went through how great a nymphing rod this is. Today I'm going to apply it in wet fly fishing instead. And I'm going to do a few things that are a little different. And I'm going to explain a few things that's going to make this job a lot easier. In fact, it's going to make this job perfect, shall we say? Because I've got a hardy, a perfect reel on here. Now, why this? Why go to this effort? This rod is probably the lightest, or one of the lightest, uh, 10 foot four weights on the market. But still, it's a 10 foot rod. So what happens is, if you have too light a reel, it's balancing up here in the blank. And it gets tiring after a while, the wrist starts to hurt. If you put a really big reel on here that's heavy to balance it, it looks pretty clumsy with the great big reel. But you know what? This perfect is perfect. It balances the reel, yet it's a four weight size. So it doesn't look awkward. But here's the thing that really puts us all together. It's the line. This line here is the Airflow Sixth Sense uh, floating line in a four five weight. Now you're gonna to say to yourself, that's a still water line. What are you doing with a still water line on a river? Well, it's kind of simple, really. This has a 20 foot front taper. It basically is a spay line. And I'd love to single hand spay. So I'm gonna be out here with this line and I'm gonna single hand spay with this rod. And uh, I've got a nice little wet fly on here. We're gonna swing that through this riffle over here and we'll see how we do. You know, hopefully we'll catch a fish on camera. That'll be nice. But if not of any event, you'll see how well this spay cast with this line and when I have this weight of reel on the end of here, it's just a perfect combination and it casts beautifully. So let's get going and let's get fishing. Look at that. Beautiful. I can cover the back end of this run without any trouble whatsoever. Hopefully there's a trout in there somewhere. This is where this rod shines. I've got about 40 feet off the reel right now. And bingo, no trouble whatsoever. This is such an easy casting rig. Now the interesting thing about the Sixth Sense is the front tip of this line, the front few feet of this line, is very, very skinny. Now, if you've ever handled a, a Euro nymphing line, it's very skinny as well. So if you want to put a Euro nymphing leader on this line and were forced to hang some of the fly line out of the guides, it would be basically the same as fishing a, a standard Euro nymphing uh, sort of running line style line. So you can, you know, multi-purpose this line if you wish. Uh, how's my... Oh. Algae. Yeah, it's the curse of the river. You're always going to get some algae. Now, the front taper on this line is 20 foot long. It's quite thin and light. And if I just want to power that front taper, this rod has such a delicate tip, it's able to power that front taper with no difficulty. But if I hang more line out of the guides, uh, the midsection and butt of this rod is quite powerful, and I have no trouble powering off a beautiful cast uh, once I start hanging out more line. Okay, this gives you a good idea what this rod and reel and line combination will do. Uh, it hardly perfect balances the rod just perfectly. And this line is a perfect combination for single hand spay. It's long front taper, uh, it delivers beautifully smooth casts, and the delicate tip on this rod will cast just the front taper. So if you want to make a short spay cast, no problem but the butt strength and midsection strength on this rod will deliver long spay cast as well. So you can see it, this is not just a one dimensional Euro nymphing rod. You can do a lot with it, especially when paired with the right line. So check this out. If you're interested in single hand spay casting and you want a delicate presentation option, but also one that will deliver distance, consider the uh, G Loomis NRX Euro nymphing four weight and the Airflow six cents four five weight line. Cheers.